Good morning friends, welcome back to my channel. I have a grocery haul to show you today. We went to Real Canadian Superstore and Walmart is a lot closer to me than Superstore is, but Superstore had some good deals and good offers on today that I thought I'm gonna do a Superstore grocery pickup. Uh, today I spent $245. It's one of those days where I came home and put everything out and thought, oh, this feels like a lot of stuff for $245. And maybe I am just adjusting, you know, to the, the rise in grocery prices, but it's nice to look around and feel like I got a lot for that price because often lately it's been the opposite where I'm like, how did I spend that much money and only have this much food? So that is how much I spent. I had a couple of substitutions. I also got my freebie. It's right back there, it's a turkey. Uh, that was my freebie for, for spending $250. When they called me and told me substitutions and stuff, I said, I wanna just make sure I'm at the $250 mark to get the freebie, and she said, oh, you are. But then when I got my receipt, I'm not, but I still got the turkey, so that worked out. Um, I got some good sales, and with Superstore, you get points back. Oh, wow, you get points back on your purchase, so for today's order, I got back. I'm gonna need to check again, because I, I knew, <laughs> but now I forget what it was. I think it was 17, yes, 17,000 points back. So that's $17 that I can take off my next grocery order. So I'll show you everything I got today, and then I'll also show you our week's meal plan. I set things up a little bit different today. I'm just noticing my produce is all along the bottom here. So we'll start with that. I got one head of lettuce. The lettuce prices have jumped up and I thought it was cheaper to get just the loose heads rather than the package of three or the package of six, but this is a pretty small head of lettuce. Avocados, these avocados, I wanna say they were $1.99. They were way, way on sale. Uh, same with baby carrots. They were on sale to a price where it was hardly more expensive to buy baby carrots than to buy the full whole carrots. I did buy both, so we'll be eating a lot of carrots. Um, for apples, apples are finally down in price. They are in season, so finally the price has gone down. I bought a bag of Royal Gala and then also a bag of Paula Red, uh, some celery, some peppers, the carrots, some broccoli, cucumbers, Three bunches of bananas here, some onions, and some sweet potatoes. For sandwich meat, we got ham, uh, Montreal smoked meat, and then these pepperonis. I bought lots of bagels. I bought like all the in-store made bagels, at least I thought I did, and then they called and there were some substitutions, and anyway, I got just some different brands here. And for the substitutions, I just said, whatever kind you throw in there. <laughs> I'm not picky. So here's what we got. Blueberry bagels. Okay, go get some more stickers then. Wesley's, Wesley's doing some school over on the chair over there. <laughs> Um, blueberry, poppy seed, sesame seed, and then these ones are both Parmesan garlic and herb. I had ordered like everything and cheese, and so this is what I got instead. I got three bags of milk, some cottage cheese, sour cream, some yogurt, cheese strings, one block of butter. Butter has been so expensive. It just seems like it is constantly climbing. Wesley, give me one sec, okay? The price is constantly climbing. I think it was almost $7. I did have a points offer, so I got like $1.20 back for it or something, but oh my goodness, it's crazy expensive. I did stock up on it when it was on sale just a few weeks ago, but I didn't stock up enough. Um, I got three dozen eggs, some cream, and then some vanilla Greek yogurt. This is what Wesley's working on over here. He's working on his bees, hold on, they're in this drawer. So right in here, hold on, let me get it for you. <laughs> hold on. Yes, okay. So you just take out one of this, one of these sheets. There you go, and you can finish up. You're almost done your bees. What does the bee say again? Bear. <laughs> he likes telling me the words. Okay, so bee is for bear, but what sound does the bee make, Wesley? Um, but. Good job. I have a bunch more groceries over here too. So the sparkling water, this was on sale for $2.99 a case. So I got three cases, cream soda. This is my favorite flavor, but there are some flavors I haven't tried before and I'm always willing to try something new. So I have yet to try ginger ale or the vanilla cherry soda. 
We ran out of paper towels and I usually stay away from like the store brand paper towels, but we'll try these. <laughs> I think it must have been like a two for some price sale. A cheaper price when you buy two because this looks like a lot of paper towel for me just trying these out to see how they see how they do we'll use them uh, we've had taco salad a lot lately and when we have taco salad we use these blue corn chips and some of my kids were saying oh I love taco salad but I miss having tacos it's been a while since I've actually bought tacos so um, taco shells so I got two packages of cheese taco shells and two packages of the ranch taco shells I got a bunch of crackers, so these were, there was some deal as well, like spend $10 on these crackers and get $4 back in points or something. So I got three of these. The kids love these and I love these too, the pretzel and cracker flip sides. Uh, and then three boxes of Cheez-Its, two of the original and one of the Cheez-It Crunch. I got five containers of apple juice. I'm trying to finish up here because it sounds like the kids, <laughs> the kids need me. Um, I got three cans of tomato juice. This is because I'm making taco soup this week. We're, we've, we've hit soup weather. Uh, but same with these. I'm like, how are these so expensive now? Like this is no name and I think it was almost $3 for one can. I remember when they used to go on sale for a dollar and I'd stock up on them. And that was like the brand name. Oh well. Uh, two bags of pretzel twists, three loaves of bread, and then of course my freebie was a turkey. So we're gonna cook that up this week. Um, it's the five to seven kilogram size. So it's probably like 12 to 16 pounds. Here is our meal plan. Today's Monday. Uh, so yesterday we did cereal for breakfast, finger food for lunch, and leftovers for supper. I love when we have leftovers <laughs> to make a meal. It's just so nice and simple. We had toast for breakfast today. We're gonna do ham and cheese bagels, which is nice and easy because I just bought all those bagels and ham and um, we have cheese in the fridge and stuff, so that'll be nice and easy. Tonight we're doing rice, beef, and beans. We have lots of meat in the freezer. For one, we have a whole bunch of chickens, our own chickens that we butchered. Um, and I try to buy most of our meat from Costco, so I need to go to Costco next, I think, and stock up on more meat, but that's why I don't buy a lot of meat when we go to the grocery store. Um, oatmeal, we'll do grilled cheese for lunch, and then here's where we're doing our taco soup. So it's a really easy recipe. It's just tomato juice, ground beef, kidney beans, um, onions, some taco spices and stuff. So I do that in the slow cooker, and then we put grated cheese and sour cream on top, and then I'll usually serve like some chips on the side with the soup. Uh, Wednesday we'll do toast, noodle soup, and then chicken, broccoli, and sweet potatoes. We have a chicken in the freezer, and the broccoli and sweet potatoes makes a really nice, easy one dish, really yummy meal. The kids aren't big fans of it, <laughs> but Andrew and I love it, it's so good. Um, oatmeal, we'll have leftovers for lunch here, especially with soups. Soups is often where we'll have lots of leftovers, so there should be enough that we can just have that for lunch here. We'll do English muffins and bacon and eggs. We do sourdough English muffins there for dinner. Breakfast for dinner is close to weekly, weekly or bi-weekly for us. Friday, we've been trying to do nice, easy breakfasts like muffins, egg salad sandwiches for lunch, and then we'll do pork chops, roasted potatoes, and carrots for supper. Baked oatmeal on Saturday, finger food for lunch, and then we'll see about the stuffing. I definitely wanna cook up that turkey <laughs> on Saturday. We'll see if I get to actually making stuffing or if we'll just do turkey and Caesar salad and dinner rolls or something like that. And when I got the turkey today, the kids were like, oh, can we have turkey pot pie? I was like, oh, great idea. Let's just cook up the turkey first and then maybe next week we'll do a turkey pot pie one day. Not my favorite thing doing our groceries first thing in the morning on a school on a school day. It was fine. Um, but we got home and I was like, let's get started on some school. You guys start school while I do the groceries. And so then it was kind of, I had lots of breaks in between filming this grocery haul, helping the kids out and stuff. But now they're gonna have a break and help me get all this stuff put away. And thank you for watching this grocery haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing it and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.